Do you not think that having diverse friendship groups is important for a child to grow? Not really. When we travel the world, right? Yeah. Love that you're like shaking your head ready. You're like, <laughs> oh, I'm ready. I'm going to yeah. gear ready up for this for motherfucker. Yeah. You know, all of us are adults. We've all yeah. traveled the world. Yeah. We've got to meet new people. We've yeah. had a great time. Yeah. And in that has meant that our personality and our person has grown. Mm -hmm. Then why and can't you teach all that to your child? I'm not yeah. saying why not. I'm definitely not. Absolutely not. But You don't need a, a million different influences to, to tell yeah. them what to do. Not at all. Not at all. But part of that comes from playing with other friends. Mm -hmm. You know, having experiences from yeah, other Yeah, but that's very different. Like having Your child having mm -hmm. friends is yeah, totally, different. totally different from the state, yeah. as in, you know, schools or nannies or, you know, yeah. whatever, like these examples we've given. It's okay. very different from them influencing your child with a certain doctrine and a certain worldview and certain mm -hmm. values. That's very, very different because yeah. you want your child to have the whole, like, ideally, wholesome values mm -hmm. that you and your partner believe in because you want them to be mm. your kid that's your child that's one thing i realized if you don't protect your children in certain specific ways when they're growing up even if they end up being fucked yeah. up or being influenced by something even slightly so small that's your child that is fucked not them so i would say that i'm really glad i didn't grow up to be like my mum. i'm okay. just gonna say that like yeah. and with all the love to her would you want your kids to grow up to be like you i'd like them to make their own choices to a do you think, degree. Do you think I think that I'm going to help <laughs> mm -hmm. for sure. But if my kids like fuck you, I don't want to. I don't want to stay at home. I don't want to do this oh, kind of like what if, education. What if, what if he's da, da, da. Twelve. Are you going to let him go? Uh, his own choice in the world. I think that's a bit of a sweeping generalization. It's not. A, I'm, I'm yeah. putting. <laughs> I'm, you know I'm, I mean? I'm asking. I'm putting it into reality. So you said you want your kids to make your own choices. So your twelve-year-old so, wants to make his own choice. He's going out into the world. So I think what the container might be is like we're worried that it's going to be a completely different upbringing. Mm -hmm. Like we're going to bring in wholesome values, and then it's the kids going to go off and go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to go do tattoos or I'm going to go it in like... It happens. I've seen, I've seen it happen in my own house. With your sister, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've seen it happen. And so... What do you think, like... Like, they'll be conservative Christian parents. They come home with these liberal-ass kids. Who taught them that? Yep. Is she happy, your sister? Um, I think that's what it comes down to, right? No, I would say she struggled more with mental health than any of my other She's siblings. confused. Yeah. That's what happens. Confusion happens. Do you think that's, like, correlation or causation? I think the liberals caused it. Yup. 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 That was the moment. I think, I think my sister was a baby-loving, wanted to be a nurse, wanted yeah. all these... Like, 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 she's probably more naturally, can, like, motherly than any of the girls. I would right. say she's a better cook than all of us. Yeah. She's better with babies than all of us. She, like, the most natural mother. And the liberals got Destroyed her. Destroyed her. <laughs> <laughs> Just got her. <laughs> but look, look at this. Like, so fundamentally, like, if you're a parent and you're trying to instill your worldview in your kids, you want the best for them. Because they're your kid. You want them to be happy. In an ideal you genuinely scenario. want, okay, ideally, yeah. right? I mean, I think that applies to 99.99% of parents, right? Oh. There's a minority that are maybe dickheads, okay, yeah. mm. <laughs> or concede that there's some dickheads. Yeah, cool. but I think Definitely. the majority of parents want the want the best for their kid. They want them to be fulfilled in life and have happy life. However, when you put that child under the influence of the state or whoever else, they have an agenda, and they're gonna they they don't have the best interests of that child at heart. They have their own interests at heart. So, so they're gonna try and manipulate. They're gonna try and manipulate and adjust that child to follow a certain agenda, which is beneficial to them in the long run. Mm -hmm. And they do it on mass in the form of public schooling. Yeah, I was gonna say, exactly. So what, you have Children go to like a public. Oh school. hell no! My my kids are getting homeschooled. Yeah. Oh, wow. All twenty of them homeschooled. 